guys welcome back to another video it's your favorite baby girl wit in today's video i am going to be talking all about bond number nine harrods guys if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know i have an extensive bond collection and i'll be doing a reloaded real soon i'm just looking for when i have a lot of time because it's a lot of bottles to go through of course but i recently got this and i decided i would talk about it really quickly just so i could give you guys a scoop um i haven't really been purchasing really like that that's why i don't come on here with hauls all the time i really have curated such a collection that I'm proud of and the reason why I'm proud of it is not because of the money value really um lately I've just been loving up on my collection and so happy with my collection because every single thing in my collection I actually use um it's even hard for me to choose a sense of the day really because all of them are my babies like they're just all good to me I don't have anything in my collection that I'm still like iffy about or I'm not sure about or doesn't really like work with my body chemistry I don't you know purchase scents for hype purchase scents for any other reason other than the fact that I really really enjoy it and I love it um I stopped purchasing scents really just because of the bottle and all that other stuff because it's like I have so many bottles that are beautiful in my collection I don't need to buy another fragrance off of the bottle I have really been loving on the things in my collection um for me to actually pull the trigger these days it's really because I've exhausted the sample and I just really enjoy it and that's why so here today we have bond number nine Harrods Rose and I'm gonna get all into it okay so before we even get into the scent let's just talk about the bottle this bottle is gorgeous it's like definitely a pink um a light pink with the gold the words are in black super beautiful standard star bottle like all the other bond fragrances the reason why I felt the need to make this video is because if you guys have been watching me you guys know that i really enjoy woodsy scents i love oud i love fruits floral it's not like i dislike it but i'm not in love with floral scents i am in love with like deep woodsy remarkable scents that they're just so different that they stay on the brain those are the type of fragrances that i'm really really into as of lately i don't know if it's because i'm becoming a bit more delicate i don't know if it's because i'm in this delicate vibe i honestly am not 100 percent sure what it is all i know is that I'm not upset with florals the way I used to be. Like when something is completely rosy, I'm not upset. And I think it's because they're not doing roses in the traditional like grandma rose type of way. It's this like sweetest rose and has different layers to it. It's more complex. I notice I'm more drawn to that type of rose. This is a floral musk. It has cashmere, tuberose, white rose. Um, I think what it is is that I really enjoy Bond's tuberose. I have queens from Bond number nine and their tuberose is like full and full. Like I actually enjoy it. So once I smelled this, I definitely got the that same essence of Queens is tuberose. It doesn't smell like Queens at all, but it's just like I got that essence. This is definitely work friendly. Having to go into the office, you know, certain days out of the week while we transition from like COVID and stuff and all those type of things, this is something that I would wear. Like people that work in the health field, I understand that, you know, you can't really have such loud, arrogant fragrances. I definitely think this is the perfect way to go. If I was sitting in a board meeting, if I'm sitting in class, if I'm sitting in a place that I don't want to affect people I think this fragrance is just oh my gosh I'm always dropping bottles right if I'm sitting in a place that I don't want to offend people but I want to make my mark known that I'm here this is definitely that fragrance I figured I would share it with you guys this is definitely something that's giftable a mother's day and the funny enough not even just for a guy roses on a guy with a oud combo is great as well talking about combo when i wore this fragrance to intensify it when i just didn't want to smell like a rose or smell like tuberose i actually mixed this with roger parfum's creation e that was a really good mix as well and then mixing this fragrance with benevolence from house of siage that was another really good mix as well i made sure i kept it in my mind the, the fragrances i mixed this with just so that i'll be able to share it with you guys and you guys can also try it if you have something that smells similar Similar to it as well um, I decided to just give this fragrance a little bit of love like I stated I will be doing that bond number nine reloaded just so you guys know that I actually have the fragrances you know like sometimes when I've already talked about them in previous videos I try not to bring them up again but you know what I think it's good when I 
reiterate and talk about these things because these are the fragrances that i actually use these are the fragrances i've had but not this one but those bond fragrances are the ones that i've had before i even started youtube so i think it's good to show you guys a collection that i've created that i'm like in love with like my fragrance creation is something i'm so proud of because i have something for every season every mood like anywhere i want to travel to as well i feel like i have fragrances that are appropriate for those places like if i go to the caribbean if I'm in the UAE if I go to Africa like I have all the fragrances that I feel like would just set that vibe you know what I mean so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed please make sure you like comment and subscribe do not forget to tell a friend please comment down below what is a purchase a fragrance purchase that you guys have bought recently like what's out there that you guys have bought recently I can't even tell you guys the last time I had like a day to go into the city and just smell up on fragrances it's been so long um life has just been slowly going back to the new normal so it's been a little bit harder for me to sneak away and get those days but let me know down below what are the fragrances that you guys have recently purchased um yeah until my next video i love you Mwah. bye guys